This hack tip is brought to you by Midvase. Hello and welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're doing a little website mirroring and a little local web serving. Now, whether you're building a website or doing some prototyping or, or simply building a phishing site, you're, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more easy mirroring tool than HTT Track or HT track, it's something like that. Anyway, it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and this open source multilingual mirroring tool supports multiple website targets, user selectable recursion levels, a resume feature, and so much more. It'll even convert to 8.3 file naming in case you're still uh, DOS 6.22. Yeah, anyway, well, getting started is super, super simple. Let's go ahead and begin here by creating a directory to actually store our mirrored website. So mkdir websites, and let's uh, head over to that. So there we go. And going ahead and starting this is, is really simple. All we actually have to do is issue h-t-t-r-a-c-k, h-track, we'll call it that. And once you get familiar with the tool, you can actually automate the process of doing this with flags and such. But it also has a really straightforward interactive wizard, which is much appreciated. So we'll go ahead by, uh, and start by naming our project. I'm gonna call this Twitter Fisher. Okay, and then give it a base path. So in this case, slash root slash websites. And we're gonna go ahead and give it the URL or URLs separated by commas or spaces. So. There we go. All right, and now we pretty much uh, can go ahead and start mirroring it. We get to uh, choose here our options for downloading. I actually prefer option number two, which will mirror the website with a wizard. Hooray. So here we can select if we're going to be using a proxy, which I'm not, uh, what file types we'd actually like, and what additional flags. So finally, we're pro uh, provided here with an actual command line script here, a command prompt. So this is actually what we would run next time if we were to uh, automate this process, you know, with the tack W, tack O, and the tack percentage sign V there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and launch it, yes. And in just a moment, or many moments, depending on the size and complexity of the website you're downloading, you're gonna go ahead and have yourself a mirrored website right here. So go ahead and LS. Finally, we can actually see that here we go, we have our website if we CD into Twitter Fisher and actually see here are our cache files as well as a nice little log file that HTTrack creates and inside our URLs directory, we have all the HTML files and everything we would expect that goes along with our website. Now, in just a bit, we're gonna go ahead and uh, visit our newly mirrored website from our local host with a very simple web server. But first, let's take a quick break. Midphase is offering unlimited disk space and bandwidth with an exclusive discount for Hack5 viewers. Get yourself free website builders, a simple CMS installs, $100 in search engine credits from Google and Yahoo, and 24 by 7 phone, chat, and email support. Now, since 2003, Midphase has been providing smart, simple, and reliable web hosting. And if you visit midphase.com slash Hack5, they're ready to hook you up with six months of free web hosting. So with our newly mirrored site and the HTML and GIF and all those other fun, happy files in our directory, we can actually go ahead and start browsing to those with a web server locally with one command. How happy is that? All we do is issue uh, python tag m simple http server and we went ahead and spawned a new web server on port 8000 of our local working directory or current working directory and all we have to do is head over to HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8000. And there we go. You can see it has brought us to our website just as it would be if I were to go to twitterfisher.com normally. Except for the fact that if I enter in some stuff, it's not going to actually do the PHP bits on the back end like it would if I were actually to enter in stuff over here. You probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference on your end as a user. So as I said, it's good for prototyping and other fun things. Anyway, 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to your feedback. And how was that? I mean, what programs and commands are rocking world? And specifically, what like W get and curl tricks are up your sleeve? What technologies are tickling your techno lust, as we say here? Hit us up, tips at hack5.org, or simply leave a comment down below. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I will be there reminding you, as always, to trust your techno lust. Yeah.